Oh my gosh, this is an unboxing I have been waiting for. So we're back from the expo. We've been chatting with the guys over at RevTech. I absolutely love their last mod. As you all know, you've probably seen a video of me doing the silly sounds uh, to the dial. I was always a big fan because it's my cup of tea because I'm, I'm into my cars. Um, and I had, I knew I had to get my hands on one of these the moment I seen it. And uh, yeah, the awesome guys at RevTech were kind enough to uh, sort us out with a few mods. So not only am I going to get to do an unboxing on this one, not only am I going to get to rattle the arse out of it, I'm also on the show going to be able to give away not one, not two, but three awesome RevTech Phantom 221 kits. One black, one red, one blue. Boom! Oh, love it. So let's get stuck in. What do we have here? Oh, Gotta love it, baby. So once the plastic is off, we are left with the old uh, slide. And then that's a nice box. My nice silver emblem on the front there. Liking that. Slides out nice and easy as well. Oh, 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 oh baby. Oh, baby, look at that. She's beautiful, blue and black, this model with the mesh coil tank. 2.8 inch screen on this bad boy. That's what the coverage on the front there is. Metal, you can feel that, she feels solid in hand. We've got a nice little USB cover over the USB port. We've got a fire button, we've got an up and down and a menu button on the side there, so no buttons on the front. It's all that side and then as i say that beautiful 2.8 inch color screen now if i remember rightly she's an hd screen center 510 on this one and with the rev tech tank now this tank actually uses the same coils as the likes of the baby smock so it is quite well catered for um, but they do have three m1 m3 and m4 for the amount of coils that are inside it uh coils available which are also interchangeable with the aforementioned brands tanks and probably a good few others as well so what else do we get in the box here uh usual accessories so we have a ooh, very nice uh branded usb cable we've got some battery safety information we've got a warranty card we've got a warning 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 do not use device this device for anything other than vaping not quite sure what else you would use that device for excuse me while i turn the volume down on my tv mute that bad boy and then we have an instruction manual always read the instruction manual because you'd never want to break anything right what have we got spare glass and some washers in there and then another coil so she's packing let's have a look and see is she packing the coil Oh, there she is, the beautiful mod, beautiful mod, beautiful mod. She really is a beautiful mod. So let's have a look inside this tank. So top unscrews, and nope, we don't have a coil inside there. Yes, we do. I'm lying. It's down in the base. So just have a quick nosy about the tank. Nice four ports of uh, juice flow there. So the juice is obviously going to sit down in the well, which is going to help you not get dry hits because once you notice that the tank is empty get rid what get rid get rid of the air <laughs> fill it up with juice so if we screw out yep screwing out the bottom so that the whole tank is coming off and there we have a nice fat m1 coil inside there as i say these are mesh coils so it's going to be interesting to find out what the flavor is like might just fire some juice in there just to have a quick try by now nice little uh, rotating top on that or the juice fill although it does have a rubber bung in it um so i'm thinking how do we go about the old uh juicerage fillerage do we have to remove that do we have to pop it off anyway i'm not worried about that right now so let's have a shifty i'm not going to go through the full review on this one just going to get the batteries in it and then give her a blast so you can see her in all of her glory to get to the battery compartment i'm doing this without guessing i'm thinking magnets yes magnets on the back she pops open nicely there battery strap in there which is always good they've gone down the roots of a nice sealed 
plastic look inside there as well again fan of that because that means that you're uh keeping it nice and simplistic in there keeping the contents well protected straight in there back back on that and already i'm seeing lights so we've got lights from the power button one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it wasn't quick enough whoa and we are awoken with a vibration yes ladies and gentlemen this mod vibrates so you will know if it's pressed in your pocket um you also know when you're fired but look at that screen that's beautiful now i know from past usages of the likes of the gpriv that the touchscreen route is a bit of an annoyance for me because of the accidental um, activation but that is all about the buttons so you've got a fantastic high quality screen in the background and then you've got your fire screen there as well i'm not going to fire this because i don't want to burn the coil although it feels like i may have just done i'm getting some stanking cotton coming out of it even just from that sample press to get to the screen so i think i might need to get me some fat funk from the old boys at fat fog just because that's what i would be testing all my current rtas on in which case yeah so basically what they've done is they've actually put a slit inside that so it looks sealed but it's not just push your nozzle through and fire so i'm gonna fire some a lot of the pineapple juice into there how's that i have finished that one off another sample yes it's always good to have more juice to hand the drips for luck there so she is a defaulted oh blimey at 50. give that a few moments she fires quick i mean we're talking off the line quick so my advice to anyone that does get this and do what i've just done either make sure you put the juice in before you even touch the buttons or ignore that fire button just hit the menu button and then that allows you to play around with the wattage so she's currently on 50 watts you've got your power mode there all the fancy lovely dials give the uh, the cotton a few moments to to bed in we'll start a low we'll go down to about the uh, about the 25 watt mark on that starts to pull through I'm nice flavor off that I must say flavor superb really good I'm loving that uh, airflow not too restrictive I'm getting a bit of a whistle for what I like but I do I do like big air so now the M1 oil is rated do, 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 do. so the tank Ooh, five mil interesting the hell that's happened the r1 single coil is rated at 20 to 50 watts uh, r2s are 0 0.15 so 30 to 70 and the r4s 50 to 110 that is insanely quick on the fire instant instant before you previously i'd be used to pressing the button before i've even got it to my mouth but this is do not fire it until it's in your rob she doesn't really matter does it great flavor um well, what can I say? Yeah, first first impressions are good for me. Uh, uh, yes, I was a fan. Call me a fanboy if you like, but at the end of the day, the quality feels good to me, and um, it's looking good. They've covered the USB port. You don't get that very often. Nice big solid screen, which is well protected, and then the magnetic battery compartment on the back. So that is 
the end of my video i shall oh fucking excuse my language